Welcome to Trade with Rob, brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com. This update is for Thursday, the 18th of April, 2024. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope it was a good trading day for you. Some of you might be in for a bit of a surprise if you haven't checked market yet uh, before you're watching this video. But let me not put the cart before the horse as we get started. Keep in mind everything we look at is for education. Nothing is meant to be advice or recommendations. All right. So here's the S&P 500. Oh, it's not looking pretty at all. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. I got multiple panic calls today. Rob, it did what you said. It broke through the 55 hard, came back, retested it, and chipped through the ice yesterday. Today, retested the 55 yet again, and kablam, Batman, right back through that 50-56 level. Uh, we're down 23-ish points today. We were up on the open. I mean, it was looking good again, right? Here, kitty, kitty. Right, that's what the market maker's doing, hand behind his back, saying, here, kitty, 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 with a 50-pound sledgehammer waiting to smack it on your head. Right, we broke down hard today, so we were in a bearish bias. We're not true bear yet, but we are bare enough to, we have been bare enough for one, two, three, four days to take a bearish trade. So, overall, uh, we're definitely looking on that bearish side. It may not run forever, I don't believe it will, of course. But I think we're going to suffer a little bit of pain, especially after Powell's notes the other day. All right. So with that, let's go look at our three candidates. And the very first one today are the diamonds, DIA, which is the Dow ETF. If I go ahead and bring this in so you can see the entire FIB, the FIB goes back until October of last year. Nice FIB. Good move. Right. And we've had a nice pullback. And now as we dig in. Here, we're sitting right at that 372. We've got about 15 minutes left till the market closes today. Uh, but we're sitting right at that 377.82 level. If we break, retest, and fail here, I'll draw it out. This is exactly what I want to see. Come on, baby. This is it. If it moves down, which is what I would prefer, come back and retests and fails, that's the entry off the fail. We're looking at 371 uh, a quarter, 371 and a half of support. So right about 373 is going to be our target. You're looking at an entry somewhere around 377, a little bit lower. So you've got about three or $4 move potential in there to the downside. If we do move up, we've got to be conscious of where the eight moving average is. Right now it's at 381.72. So that is our resistance. So somewhere down below there, right about 380. So I don't have a whole lot of room in there for the upside. I'm okay with the two or three dollars, but you've got to go in, you've got to go in this knowing if you take the bullish entry, You've got a short side of what you're looking for for a potential move. From there, we're going to go to SPY. Yep, so another ETF. This one is on our Power Option Plays list, right? This is a little bit older uh, one as well. It goes all the way back to October. And same scenario, right, as SPX. We've got a double set of blue zones in here. So uh, 500 to 503.66 and 500 down to 496.14. So right now, we just kind of pressed through a little bit just a few minutes ago we were sitting right near that 503.66 so we're going to watch right and see where we go if and we're gonna, i'm going to leave it on my list because again we still have a few minutes left today if we break above that 503.66 retest and bounce we're going to look at that 509 as resistance maybe 507 seven and a half somewhere around there as a target if we break this blue line here the 500, we're looking at 496 as support. So maybe 497 is going to be our target, right? And the last, certainly not least, one of my faves is Tesla, right? For multiple reasons. Not only do I think Elon Musk is an absolute genius uh, and an amazing business owner, entrepreneur, uh, intellectual thinker, right? Great product and, and uh, just loving to death. Anyway, I digress. We're in a true bearish bias right now. Moving averages are in the right order, headed to the downside, right? With that happening, you got to keep your eye on earnings. This is going to be a day trade. We're in, we're out tomorrow. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. If we fail off that 156.92, come back, retest, and drop, I'll take a bearish entry. 147 half is support. So right about 149 is going to be my target. If we move to the upside, pull back and bounce, we'll take the bullish entry. And we're looking at 164.70 as resistance, 164 and three quarter as resistance. So right about 164, 163 and three quarter, somewhere in there is about where we're looking to. So overall, we've got plenty of move in either direction. It doesn't matter. There's enough room in there for me to want to take the trade in both directions on, uh, on these guys. So with that, have a great rest of your day and I will see you all on our next update. All right, bye for now.